Moses, Moses Peterson, who is on death row at Central Correctional Institution, will be returned to Florence within the next couple of days. Peterson and Craig Stubbs were both sentenced to... ...has decided to run for the U.S. Senate. After tossing around the... ...problems affect us all. The United States produces most of the world's food, but farmers are now faced with their greatest crisis since the Depression. It's time to check weather conditions. Now it was a chilly day on the farm. Steve Caps will tell us all about it. And talk a little bit about how the weather affects the farmer as well. And right now, let's go to those current conditions and see what we have outside. 44 degrees right now in Florence, 40 in Myrtle Beach. High today in Florence got up to 56 with the overnight low at 45. Look at the current map and see what we've got uh, right now. Things, we've got this frontal system trying to move on off the coast. It's slowed down a good bit. We expect it to be way on off the coast by now. This area of high pressure isn't building in quite as quickly. Or Super Bowl talk, right? Uh, what else? <laughs> Super Bowl week. And Chicago Bears quarterback Jim McMahon has done a lot of talking in New Orleans. Some people think too much. Fire sweeps through a New Delhi hotel early this morning, killing several people and injuring many others. Good evening, I'm Uzi Brown. And I'm Randy Tenney. At least 38 people, including an American, died in the fire as flames. The countdown clock is ticking for the Space Shuttle Challenger. The flight's seven-member crew arrived at the Kennedy Space Center late this afternoon. Challenger is being prepared for a Super Bowl Sunday liftoff. And if all goes well, Krista McAuliffe will become the first school teacher in space. Also making this journey into space a aboard the Challenger will be Lake City, South Carolina native Ron McNair. He'll serve as mission specialist. Meanwhile...